your current uh, sources, and we know you've got a lot of them, are they concurring with what I've been told, that Israel right now is test ballooning and intends to hit Iran in the next two weeks with bunker busters and cluster bombs to stop their Air Force retaliatory strike? They've just put into place more uh, 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 anti-medium-range anti-ballistic missile systems. And and the word we've got is the attack on Iran has now been green-lighted. They've put up this balloon, oh, look, Iran's going to attack us, and that it is on. So, A, what is your intel on that? A, B, what, what do you expect the Iranians to do? What are the different things that can happen if Iran is struck? Because the, the uh, people like Ray McGovern and others I've talked to who work, you know, the CIA as analysts, they say it runs from bad to worst. Okay, sir, those are my questions, those two questions. The first answer is I, I will not quote any of my sources. In my uh, extensive experience as a member of the Association of Former Intelligence Officers, the National Military Intelligence Association, and in my extensive experience in dealing with Iran with terrorists and incompetent civilians, you are absolutely right. We are creating a false flag situation where Israel will go forth to attack Iran. What will happen in turn is Iran will not touch the United States. It never has and it never will. Iran is very effective at putting up pressure, number one, on Hezbollah, on Israel, on two, on Hamas, and and affect Israel's northern border, its eastern border, and its southern border. In effect, what Israel is doing is approaching Armageddon, where it's it's continuing its self-destructive behavior both militarily and civilian. I asked the Israeli ex-commanders of the IDF and the Mossad to come forth and to stop Netanyahu and stop the Americans who are involved in this attack because Israel will be seriously destroyed. The state of Palestine will exist. Egypt will be there. Syria will maintain its low-intensity conflict, but Iran will exact a huge amount of of, of problems for Israel, and Israel knows that, and Israel cannot handle that. The IDF cannot handle three borders which will be exposed. It cannot handle both Hezbollah on the north, Hamas on the south, and the Jordanian border, which is extremely, extremely vulnerable. Steve, that's and at the question. same time, the Middle East will erupt in violence because Bahrain is the area where our military and the surrogates have effectively fighting Iran. But Iran will not be involved in domestic terrorism. How do they we don't stop need this it. War? I mean, is a very smart man. I always respect my enemies. And one of the things that's a problem is I do not respect our civilians. If I, as I have said repeatedly on this show, the American public has to be awakened to the fact we have an incompetent, dangerous president. I'm not saying Democrat or Republican. We had it truthfully with, uh, with Bush Jr. But this one really is out of control. You have... Biden, who is totally incompetent, a history of plagiarism, a history ineffectual, with his family as being the National Security Council. You have a CIA that's totally out of control, and Panetta, who's never had experience in national security and Dr. Pichani, intelligence. Uh, uh, I'm sorry for interrupting. How do we stop the war? How do we stop this from happening? You stop uh, the war. And, and of course, the former head of the Mossad came out, as you, you know, two weeks ago and said attacking Iran would be a terrible idea, but Netanyahu wants it politically. So, so how do we stop this? The Israeli people have to go into the streets. There's a million of them. And around the world, the civilians must go into the streets to demonstrate that there can be no more wars and that they have to stop the Israelis from attack and from the United States supplying Israel with weapons that are totally irrelevant to the national security of the United States. I will not quote our generals, but I feel that some of our generals have correctly stated years ago Israel is a strategic liability. Let me repeat it again. This is not just an emotional Republican or Democratic issue. There is no need for us to have Israel on our southern or eastern flank. Israel has had its own national security. Israel has funded against all its sanctions. That's why Hillary is lying like a banshee through the Ulfer family oil into Iran while at the same time condemning the nuclear program. Israel has repeatedly manipulated the APAC and the Jewish community of the United States and the world to say that it's being persecuted when in fact it has not been persecuted. 
Israel has been out of control. Last year, they had 25 operatives trying to kill one operative in, in Dubai. Israel is, in fact, dysfunctional. The people of Israel have to mobilize into the streets Christian Jews and Muslims to stop Netanyahu. He is out of control. He was not the brightest man we ever saw under Baker. I remember he was kicked out of the office by Maker Baker. Lieberman is totally incompetent. But I asked the Israeli former commanders. They know who they are. Uh, Dr. Pachanik, we, 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 we've got to go to break here shortly. Alex, do you, uh, is there anything you want to say no, no, before we go to I'm break? You come back with Dr. Pachinik for one more segment. You've got guests coming on. Dr. Pachinik will be back with us tomorrow. This issue could not be more important, ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate Dr. Pachinik joining us. The green light for war is on. we got to turn it off. It's InfoWars uh, Radio uh, with uh, Steve Pachinik, and we've got Mike Adams riding shotgun. I'm going to sign off for now. Paul Watts is coming up later. Spread the word. World War III is about to start. All right, folks, we'll be right back after this break. Stay with us. With economic and job-based stress now the leading cause of illness, is your body ready for the hard times ahead? This is Bill Hyde with a special report on staying healthy in hard times. According to a new article in the London Telegraph, job stress associated with the economic downturn has now replaced cancer, stroke, heart attack, and back problems as the number one reason people miss work. In fact, it's now being called the black death of our time. This means taking care of your body could be the single most important thing you do, especially in these hard economic times. Recently, we've created a video which you can watch online for free detailing how to make Make sure your body is ready for the dangerous times we live in. You can find the video at longtermgreen.com. That's longtermgreen.com. Get your body ready for the hard times ahead by watching the free video at longtermgreen.com. The video is available at longtermgreen.com. Hello, friends. Alex Jones here. You all know I've worked for years with Steve Shank and eFoods Direct. I have eFoods for my own emergency food supply. You know, Steve, life is different now for all of us, isn't it? Very different. People are using this great food to survive the present hurricane season, and we've already had $40 billion worth of damage from floods, storms, quakes, and droughts. And that's just the first eight months of this year. Natural disasters are newsworthy, but only touch a few of us Americans. The huge issue of the Greatest Depression is on everyone's mind. The unemployment, the loss of homes, lost businesses, and skyrocketing food costs are hitting every American. So everyone needs food security. Folks, this month you will get free shipping on every food order from eFoods Direct. That's right. Every order gets free shipping starting September 6th. Get stocked up with the best storable foods out there with eFoods Direct and be prepared for any emergency before it happens. To take advantage of this special, call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years in serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light System system today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653 or order online at goberkey.com. That's goberkey.com today. All right, welcome back, folks, to the Alex Jones Show. An extraordinary day. I'm filling in for Alex, who has been joining us by phone for the last 45 minutes or so. We're also joined by Dr. Steve Pachinik, who has been giving us an analysis and a breakdown of this just truly extraordinary historical news uh, groundbreaking. You need to listen in to what is being said here today because we are talking about a false flag pretext for war 
in the Middle East, having now been, as we're saying here, fabricated by the Obama administration. And continuing with Dr. Pachinik, I have a couple of questions for you. Sure, um, number one is the incompetence of this apparent false flag operation. Doesn't that strike you as a pattern from the Obama administration? If you remember the, the incompetence of how they tried to forge the birth certificate, it was obviously a fake. Well, this is obviously a, a fake terror plot. Does that strike you as, as something characteristic? Well, let, let, let me start. I don't want to get into the birth certificate, but what's really the most fascinating part about Obama is the fact that he doesn't want to talk about his mother having been a CIA operative, his grandmother being a CIA operative, and his grandfather. His mother was a very impressive woman who worked at the uh, Hawaiian Asian Pacific Center, which was a CIA front, and I, I honor her. And his grandmother was involved in banking for funding in East Asia. His mother went into Indonesia speaking Russian and a white woman in Arabic. So what's missing is this connection between him and the CIA. So you know that the CIA is very much a part of this and has been under 9-11 and has been out of control. And it's one of the things that Eisenhower has always said, this is, you need a certain kind of genius to control the CIA. And unfortunately, we have not had it. I'm, I'm hoping that General Petraeus can put them in line, but you have the DEA, you have the ATF, and these are not a functional institutions. With all due respect to the FBI, they are brilliant domestically, but Mueller has really discredited himself twice on the 9-11 and today. And this is a, a war hero in Vietnam. And if I were he, I would resign uh, out of just dignity. Eric Holder should be indicted. Uh, he's totally dysfunctional. Uh, he has lied. Uh, he has committed perjury in front of Congress. He has lied to the American public. And now what you have is dysfunctional, the most dysfunctional story of all uh, uh, is the fact the Osama bin Laden. There is no one in the world that believes that Osama bin Laden was killed and then was dumped into the waters. I mean, it was so absurd, it became ridiculous. Even Mueller came forth on this story about the assassination plot, saying it's like a Hollywood movie, as if he was trying to co-opt himself on the truth of the matter. Is, Mueller, I'm sorry, but you failed once again, and it's beyond a Hollywood movie. No producer in their right mind would have bought this, because it's not true, it has no consistency, it's dysfunctional, and once again, you have opportunities who have no idea of how to create a false flag. Well, how much, how much of this do you think stems from the heat that Attorney General Holder must now be feeling as the subpoenas are about to be handed to him? And it looks like uh, he's about to be handed his hat and shown the door uh, because of his involvement in Fast and Furious. Is that a key motivation, you think, behind yes. this? I would say that's one of them, the fact that he is going to be handed the door. He should be actually prosecuted for lying in front of Congress for perjury, uh, for distortion, disinformation, for inciting a war. I mean, Eric Holder should be held accountable for a lot of uh, malfeasance. Uh, I'm not a lawyer, but I certainly know the, the miscreant behavior he has had. It's not only his heat, but you have a president who has not performed, who has not been able to create jobs, who has polarized the country, and has basically has very low ratings. The only way presidents historically in the United States have created an increase ratings and this one is pitiful. All right, Dr. Pachinik, we are just about out title. of time here. I, I apologize for cutting you off. Uh, uh, we're out of time for this segment. I want to thank you for joining us and I know you're going to be back on tomorrow, I believe, for additional analysis. So thank you for joining us. Also here on the Alex Jones Show, we are going to continue to break this down and uh, have additional analysis. Stay with us. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. When you're out on the road, the last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee where they make blue diamond gusset jeans. They so pride in every stitch Guarantee you love the way they fit They put a diamond gusset in the crotch Where you need it most Blue diamond gussets got it Others don't 
turn jeans inside out. Diamond Gusset Jeans. Made in the USA with unparalleled quality.